Uh, good morning, sir. I am pleased to welcome Professor Dr. D. Sharmukhundram, Principal of Saint Joseph College of Engineering and Technology, to an interview with College Student. We would be grateful if you introduce yourself in few words, sir. Uh, this is Dr. D. Sharmukhundram, Principal of uh, Saint Joseph College of Engineering and Technology, Saint Joseph. Actually, uh, from the past three years, I am here as a principal. Almost 22 plus years of experience in teaching and also research. Almost 12 plus years of experience in uh, administrative institutions, various institutions. Um, I am a uh, black student in Punjab, so I am uh, here uh, to develop this institution to some further extent. That is my uh, vision. So let us proceed with the interview. Okay. The education system in India and other foreign countries are structured very differently. In your experience, what can an inbound student bring when studying here in your college? Actually, uh, I would like to elaborate this uh, point. Uh, here in India, and also abroad, there is a very different system of education. Uh, the education system. So, we as a uh, operating uh, college, that is from our university, Chennai. So we have a curriculum everything from online. Uh, uh, suppose if we are autonomous institution, we have a rights to develop our own curriculum and develop everything. But according to our online, we are operating body. Uh, online is our operating body. So we need to follow the rules and regulations of online. So whatever uh, rules and regulations framed by online is uh, on par with the uh, out of the world. So there is not uh, much difference in the uh, um, public point of view. So definitely it will be helpful. But only thing is we may find some difference that is uh, industry point of view maybe some uh, gap may be observed. So that is uh, very much to be considered. For that, what we need to have is uh, we need to develop our faculty members through faculty development program. And also, we need to uh, develop our students to uh, um, study well, and also uh, get the information from uh, uh, various resources, not only from books. So that is the uh, main thing required for the student to go in a better way. Okay, sir. That's so great, sir. What is the rate of admissions in your college? Has it increased from the last year? Yes, uh, actually. Uh, Frankly speaking, uh, in the year 2019, while entering here, the admission rate is very, very less. So, uh, uh, most of uh, viewers may know that uh, 2018, 17, 18, 19, and also the 20, this, this year, university admissions, most of the institutions are very, very less. Okay. Even here, the admission is only, uh, total admission is only 80 uh, in the year 2019. Uh, 19, sorry, 2018, 2019, it is uh, almost uh, 50 only. While, uh, while entering this institution, just 50 admissions out of 540k. That is a major problem what I observed during my entry in this institution. After this, uh, on our, uh, I concentrated more on uh, the final year students, uh, also 30 students, those for studies at that particular time. So uh, we need, uh, I concentrated for their uh, um, placement activities. So I was uh, actually uh, experienced in placement. Actually, uh, almost uh, 10 years of uh, experience in, uh, as a director training in placement. So I know the particular about the industry, what is the demand of the industry, what is the uh, demand from the students. So I concentrated the students for getting uh, good placements. I invited almost uh, 20 more companies for this institution. And uh, almost every uh, student of the final year, almost 95 percent of the final year students, that time we placed. So it created a vibration here. And the next year, 2020, the admission is also increased to um, uh, I think that uh, the particular year, our intake is only 300. For the 300, we almost admitted 170 students. So drastically improved the admission. And also last year, uh, 2020. Uh, Academic year, the admission also drastically improved. Almost uh, we have 85 year, the percentage of admissions in this institution. So, uh, according to our uh, 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 official procedures, 
we need to fill 300 admissions for uh, last year. That most they have filled uh, 230 admissions, the most 80% of the admissions. So that's very really great to hear, sir. So uh, I, I want to hear the list of courses that uh, your college offers, sir. So, uh, moving on to the final question. So, uh, with the competition so high, how do you guide your students to survive with the with such a competitive scenario? Competition in the sense, uh, uh, we have uh, students only from uh, this Delta uh, region, that is Sanjay Oro, Kumbho Kota, Mayra Adurai, and Mano Patanam, Kuru Aro, Kipa Eri, Atharoti. And the students will be from I know the uh, the capacity of these students Actually, uh, they are uh, mostly uh, remote or uh, rural, uh, rural uh, climate. So they uh, they find in uh, uh, learning uh, this country, that is a major problem. So we need to pay, uh, give uh, some soft skill training. Actually, as per uh, ACP, we need to provide a minimum uh, students induction program of three weeks. Okay. So uh, we are strictly following, adhering to that uh, point. We are uh, initially we are doing this uh, student induction program strictly for three weeks. So for that, during that program, we invite uh, uh, various uh, uh, high people, high level people from industry and also uh, UPSC, uh, the computer chief, IAS, IRS officers, and also uh, um, teachers. There is various uh, high level institutions. Some motivation uh, people, motivating, motivating people. So uh, we are we are concentrating through that one. So we invite everyone for this particular program. Uh, directly they will uh, uh, see the students and uh, they will interact with them. Then uh, they, during the uh, induction, the induction program itself, uh, we try to uh, um, send the students to industry or industry to research. So they must know that what is industry, what is what are uh, the things we are going to study? So before, before uh, getting into the subject, we need to provide this kind of things. If we provide this kind of things, definitely the students will understand. That is our uh, vision and motto. That's really great to hear, sir. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for allocating your time and your busy schedule with us. Uh, I'm expecting uh, for more interactions with you in the future, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you.